Hi guys, this video is for Cloxy, who suggested connecting the front axle and the back axle to the same rubber band. Now normally I can't do that because my chassis is a flat sheet of cardboard and you need to be able to connect the rubber band to the bottom of the front axle and the top of the back axle so that you can wind it that way to wind up the rubber band at the back and that way to wind the rubber band at the front. So if I just let that go you'll see that's coming off the bottom and if I just hold that and let it go you'll see that's coming off the top. As I say, normally I can't do that because I've got a flat sheet of cardboard there. But by using this open um, chassis <laughs> then I can do it and it works. I don't know if there's any benefit what I'll have to do is try running this car connecting the rubber band to this cross member and see how it goes and then run the car with it connected to the front axle and the back axle. I've done a simple test but I haven't done a complete test so I'll upload the simple test first and then being as it's now one o'clock in the morning I'll have a go at this some other time to see if we can get any difference whether it's better or worse. Hi guys I've got a suggestion from Klocksky that we should attach the rubber band to the front axle and the back axle at the same time. Obviously you'll have to attach it to the top of that axle and the bottom of that axle so that you can wind them up and they'll go. We'll give it a try. So, bottom of that axle, just give it a couple of turns to hold it still, top of that axle, a couple of turns, that's clear what's happening there but that's what I'm doing I'm turning both axles the same direction but it's going to the top of this axle and the bottom of that axle well it works top of that axle Bottom of that axle, wind it a few turns that way, a few turns that way. Makes winding it up a little bit more complicated, but not that complicated. Just have to think what you're doing before you do it. Okay. Let's pick up the camera and chase it. Start behind the red line, I suppose. Not that it matters much, I'm not actually measuring the distance. But it certainly works. <laughs> 